91 in Oakland, California, the ladies' final. And the number one in the world, Christy Yamaguchi, is next to skate. The number two in the world, Tanya Harding, waits backstage. She has had a tumultuous year. At the U.S. Nationals this year, 20-year-old Tanya came this close to not being the first U.S. woman to land a triple axle in competition. After winning her silver medal at the Worlds, Tanya returned home to Portland, a very confused young lady. She was having marital problems, and she decided to leave her coach, Dodie Teachman, and train herself via home video. Well, that lasted only a short while. Things are fine with the coach, but she did go through a divorce. I'm sure I've made mistakes. I mean, everybody makes mistakes. But uh, in the last couple of years, I've made some mistakes, and I think now I'm getting over them, and I think I'm going forward and making a really good life for myself. Now on the ice at Skate America 91, the reigning world champion from the United States, 20-year-old Christy Yamaguchi. She's currently in first place. She leads Tanya Harding. defense of your world title to do it against the number two this early in the season. Her opening jump combination, a triple lutz double toe loop. Nicely done. Oh, and she tried a triple and she didn't have enough speed to get all the way around the triple toe loop. So there's a slight crack in the door now for Tanya Harding. I think the fact that Christy does not have a triple axle in her program means that she feels like she has to go after these triple-triple combinations to be competitive. It's double axle there. Her next triple is very important. How do you recover from a mistake? Triple flip here. Nicely done. That was perfect. In the 1991 Nationals, Christy Yamaguchi finished second to Tanya Harding when Tanya became the first lady other than Midori Ito to land a triple axel. But at the Worlds in Munich, it was Christy Yamaguchi who prevailed and Tanya Harding finished second. And here they are again as the season opens en route to Alberville. And of course we mentioned Midori Ito. Let us not forget the presence of Jill Trenery who was back out all last year with an injury. Ladies Field is loaded for the Olympics. What I love about Christy Yamaguchi skating is not only does she have great technical prowess, but she's really, really focused in on her artistry, and she's a beautiful skater. She's elegant, sophisticated. Well, for the last couple of years, she has followed her coach, Christy Kasgard Ness, to Edmonton. That's where she now trains, the same gymnasium as that of Kurt Browning. And she also dropped out of pair skating. For years, she was a pair skater with Rudy Galindo. Nice triple loop, and she just has to spin out of that landing. It was straight in the air, and it looked like she had a little stiff knee on the way down. Her next jump gives her fits. Triple sow cow, and she singles it. She is really struggling out there. It was Tanya Harding who fell at the end of the original program. It is Tanya Harding who now hopes to take advantage of these lapses by Christy Yamaguchi and win the title here. Very important jump. The last thing I want to do, four minutes and eight seconds into the program, a triple lutz, and she does it beautifully.
Tanya Harding is next. Her coach, Dodie Tishman, her choreographer, Barbara Flowers. Well, this is a hard maneuver. Triple Lutz right here. You can see she lands that easily, but she didn't quite have the speed on the landing. Right there, you can see the toe catches a little bit, and she just couldn't get around on that triple toe. Very uncharacteristic performance by Christy Yamaguchi. Here's a nice triple flip right here. You can see the speed and the flow she comes out of it with. I just, I wasn't going for it. Right. Wow. wow, the judges marks for Christy Yamaguchi. And these are very high marks. She had a lot of mistakes. This definitely was not a characteristic performance of Christy Yamaguchi, and I can almost guarantee you that what she does at the Olympics will be a lot better. It's early in the season, but these are high marks. 5.7. 5.6. Well, despite the mistakes, and these are marks for technical merit, the Chinese judge awarded her with a 5.8. And these artistic marks should go way up, and they do. You can see the 5.9s, 5.8s, a couple 5.7s. Christy has really worked on her presentation, her artistry, and, and that, that is going to be her strength. Are those marks too high in your mind? I think the technical marks were a little high, but I think these artistic marks are just right. The tough week has continued for Tanya Harding. Earlier, she broke her right boot. That's been fixed, but then she fell during practice. She's now developed a hematoma on her right hip. Well, everything in the Olympic year hurts a little bit more. You know, boot problems are a little more annoying. But Tanya's biggest problem has been concentration. In this competition, she has to stay focused. She has to keep her concentration in order to win this competition. And the inconsistent program.